guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a ColourPop collection video. I was inspired to film this video because of a comment my friend Amy made in a recent video where we collaborated. If you guys wanna see that video, I'll go ahead and remember to link that down in my description box. But it was so funny because we basically did our favorite and least favorite palette from 10 brands. And one of the brands was ColourPop and she's like, yeah, I have like four ColourPop palettes and Karen basically has like every ColourPop palette. And I was like, Oh, Amy, no, you are so wrong, girl. I have been decluttering my ColourPop collection like it is my full-time job because let me tell you, the ColourPop collection was getting out of control with the eyeshadows, and the thing I really found myself doing was not reaching for them. The other thing I was doing was I was just buying every palette that they came out with, which honestly was unhealthy. <laughs> it was unhealthy for my bank account, for my mental state. Like, I just didn't need to buy these palettes and they would just sit there and collect dust and never get any use. So in 2020, my goal was honestly to just avoid ColourPop like the plague. Now they did come out with one palette that I did pick up, but you guys need to know that for somebody that basically placed a ColourPop order every other week, the fact that I've only bought one ColourPop palette in 2020 so far is a huge achievement. At least I consider it a huge achievement. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that. But if you guys are curious to see all the ColourPop palettes I currently own, just keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with the cardboard palettes and then we'll do like the nine pants. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But I have definitely reduced my eyeshadow palette collection from them. So the first one I do have, this is another one that I should probably declutter, but it was limited edition, so I can't bring myself to do it, and I haven't even used this. I haven't used this. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. I'm not gonna give this away on this video, but once this whole corona thing is over, I will have a giveaway, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in that giveaway. This is a Sweet Nothings palette. They came out with this as a collaboration with Ulta. It was one of the first palettes they launched with Ulta. So I've never used this. It, I don't have the box for it, but you guys will be able to tell I've never used it. There's no swatches on the pans. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one away. I feel lighter already, okay. This is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes. This is the Whatever palette by ColourPop. This was their fall 2019 collection and this was actually my favorite palette from ColourPop in the video that I did with Amy. So I really like this. I think this is such a fun neutral palette for people with a tan skin tone. So if you guys are on the ColourPop website and you're able to pick this up or you're like, hmm, I wonder what would be Karen's recommendation for a good tan gal friendly palette, it would be this guy. So yeah, I really like it. There is one glitter in here, pressed glitter, which is kind of a bummer because I know a lot of people don't like pressed glitters, but it's still a really good palette. I mean, you could wear that to work every day. You can do some really great nighttime looks. So it's a very versatile palette. Another favorite, this is the Good Sport. This was 2018's fall collection. And honestly, I think if they bought this back, the internet would probably lose their mind because everyone that loves this palette has it. And everyone that loves it and talks about it influence other people to get it. So I know there's a lot of people out there that wish they could get their hands on that palette. So. It's a really good palette. I don't know what else to say. It's a great fall color story. I love the mix of shades, and I'm very happy I got my hands on it. Now, here's another one. This is very embarrassing that I've never used. This is the California Love Palette. Again, I had a very unhealthy addiction to ColourPop in 2019. I just kept buying the palettes, and honestly, like I do like their formula, but I have other palettes that I really, really love, so I kept keeping this in my collection thinking, Hey, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. And I haven't tried it, so maybe I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my giveaway pile as well and try and give this one away to one of you guys. Okay, so my favorite neutral palette from ColourPop is the I Think I Love You palette. This one is quite an old palette, but these shades are so great. I talk about this all the time, but when this came out, I took it on a work trip to Las Vegas and I had so much fun using this and creating beautiful everyday looks with this. So if you are able to get your hands on this, this is another great tan girl friendly neutral palette from ColourPop. I love it so, so much. And then here is another limited edition palette that they came out with. 
Um, this was an Ulta exclusive as well. This is the Rendezvous palette. And it's a beautiful color story. Of course, the pop of blue gets me every time. And that's why I own this. But I've maybe used this once or twice. So this is another one that should be on the chopping block. But I held on to it because I love the Art Deco packaging on that one. Here's another one I kind of kept for the packaging. This is a Salvaje palette, which was their first or second collab with Becky G. The colors are kind of interesting, but again, I don't really love this color story and I don't really use the neutrals that much. So it's just kind of a really pretty palette, so I keep it. But other than that, I really don't have a reason to hold on to it. And then I didn't even realize I kept this one. This was Amy's favorite ColourPop palette that she mentioned and I'm like, oh, I think I decluttered that and here I am like, I'm like, oh, no, I didn't declutter it, Amy. In fact, I do own it. So this is Kathleen Light's X ColourPop. This is her Dream Street palette. She's done so many collabs with them. I feel like this one definitely didn't get its moment because it was a bit of a smaller collection, but I think Amy's right. It does have a beautiful neutral story and then the fun two pops of blue and... I don't know, I just hold on to it for sentimental reasons because I like Kathleen Lights too and so I'm happy to have one of our palettes because the Zodiac palette was a heated mess and I could not wait to get that thing out of my collection. So another ColourPop collab palette that I own that I don't get much use out of is the Through My Eyes palette with I Love Sarai. This came out, was it holiday 2018? I think it's that old and of course the pop of greens drew me in. It's basically a huge neutral palette with a pop of green, but I like the packaging and everything. And I pulled this one out because I kept meaning to film with this because Paulina Beauty has that palette and she just does such beautiful eye looks with it. She really inspired me to take another look at it, but of course I'm sitting here dragging my feet. So hopefully I can get to that. And then this is another one that I should probably get rid of but my friend Sydney from Diaries of a Beauty Guru makes such beautiful looks with this palette. This is the Chasing Rainbows so this was their 2018 holiday palette and they did like a colorful palette and look how pretty these shades are. They're so fun and this packaging is so cute and like iridescent rainbow goodness so I really really like this palette and I want to get more use out of it and if I don't get any use out of it in 2020, you guys will be able to find it on my Poshmark because I need to just, I need to make peace with the fact that ColourPop is not my favorite formula and I don't need to buy every single thing from them. So we'll see how my journey goes. Anyway, I do have two of their big palettes. I do actually have the Bare Necessities palette, but I did pick that one up as a gift. So I actually bought two of them when they originally came out. I gave one to my best friend and I have one more. I'm planning on like using it as a gift in the future, um, but I get really tempted to whip it out and use it because I've seen so many good reviews on it. But so far I've held off because I don't need another neutral palette in my life. But these two I really like. This was my last ColourPop purchase of 2019. It's the It's All Good palette and I've got this sitting in my drawer to review for you guys and I haven't I haven't gotten to it and it's April. Isn't that pathetic? But I've used this palette a few times and I think it's really good. I really like these bigger palettes from ColourPop. I know a lot of people when they saw them originally we were all just kind of like oh my gosh ColourPop's trying to be Morphe like why are they coming out with these huge palettes but let me tell you this So Jaded palette is honestly so so good. It is my favorite ColourPop palette. It's one of my favorite. It's like top three favorite ColourPop palettes. This was one I didn't initially buy but now that I have it, oh my gosh, am I so happy I have it. I want to film a look with this for you guys. Again, it's one of those palettes where I bought it like last year and it still hasn't made it onto my channel but I have it and I love it so much so I have to tell you guys how good it is. So last but certainly not least are my monochromatic palettes from ColourPop and in no particular order. Let's go through them really quickly. So I have the Going Coconuts palette. I didn't think I was going to buy this but honestly it's such a beautiful neutral palette. Now this is tan girl friendly but if you're darker than me I would probably go with the next palette I'm about to show you but I know light skin tones and up to medium skin tones can really enjoy that palette and I think that's a great palette to pair 
with the original neutral nine pan palette, the brown sugar. This one I slept on for a long time. I didn't think I needed this in my life, but as soon as I got it and I started using it, I realized what a beautiful neutral palette this is. So I love this guy so, so much and I'm so happy to have that. And then the first ever monochromatic palette that ColourPop came out with is the Ooh La La palette. This one came out in October. 3rd of was it 2018 or 2017 I can't quite remember but they did this pink palette and we all went nuts I thought this was gonna be my favorite one because I was in such a pink phase when this came out so it was like right up my alley but it's actually not my favorite monochromatic palette so after that I think they did just my luck this was for St. Patrick's Day 2018 if I'm right and this is what it looks like 2019 I think I can't remember but it's such a cute palette and I think this kind of really started the trend of like green palettes in the mainstream because we were ready for green palettes but makeup companies were not ready to give them to us so 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 happy that that became a thing and I don't remember the rest of the order but I do have the blue moon which is this palette and it's so cute I have the aha uh -huh honey palette which Honestly, I feel like if I was gonna declutter one of these it would be this one But I don't really have a lot of like all yellow palettes, so I'm holding on to this and I want to do a battle with this one and the Midas Cosmetics Lemonade palette because I do have that one. I could also probably declutter this one. This is the Orange You Glad palette. I kind of want to take these apart and like make a little custom palette with these nine pans, but I just haven't gotten around to them. And I don't know, I feel like I haven't really looked at them in quite some time. This is the one I've used the least, I think. This is Main Squeeze by ColourPop and it was one of their like summer collection. They did a huge watermelon inspired summer collection with that palette. And then the Smoke Show, this was so fun because it's so different. It's not really my favorite color story. I'm not really into smoky colors like this, but I'm glad they did this because you know what? Everyone deserves to have a little piece of ColourPop in their lives. This is another one I would like to declutter. I'll probably do that right now. We'll see. Actually, I might franken this palette because I'd like to put this yellow in the lemonade palette and take out the pressed glitter. So maybe that's something I can do with it. But this is their collab with Makeup Shayla. This is round two. It was called Proceed with Caution. Like they did like a caution tape inspired collection. And it's nice, but I never use that palette. I don't think I've ever used that palette. So my next palette that I picked up from ColourPop is this one. This is the Lilac You A Lot palette. The next palette is one of my favorite monochromatic palettes. It's the Is My Pleasure palette. And because I love this one so much, I did pick up the Lilac You A Lot palette. Now, for my tan friends, I would say definitely go for It's My Pleasure. Lilac You A Lot is kind of like that, you know, pastel-y vibe. So it's a lot of work to get an eye look from this. And if you don't have the time, I wouldn't waste it on this one. But this one is amazing. It's so beautiful. Do you guys see those duochromes in the middle? Like, oh, love it so much. This is my favorite ColourPop monochrome palette. And then this is my last purchase from them. This is the Mint to Be palette. They came out with this, I think, in January or February of this year. And I resisted and I resisted, but I was so curious. And I was going to get the Huda Beauty mint palette but this one went on sale so I picked this one and passed on the Huda one so I justified it because it's better to spend like $12 on this than spend like $29 on the Huda palette so very happy I picked this up I need to test this out more I did use it a few times and I like it but I think I can definitely do more with this so it is on my list to try out but that is it guys for my ColourPop collection I wanted to give you guys an updated video because I hadn't shown you guys my ColourPop collection in quite some time and since the rumors said that I had way more ColourPop palettes I wanted to show you guys that I don't I actually have managed to declutter quite a bit of it and I think there's definitely more decluttering to come so I'm very excited because I just want to keep the best of the best I don't want to hoard I don't want to hold on to things that I'm not getting use out of I would rather pass them on to somebody that will and just move along with my life so I hope you guys enjoyed this I will leave a eyeshadow palette collection playlist 
for you guys to check out because I love watching eyeshadow palette collection videos and I know you guys do too. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!